Coach, you haven't been here that long, but tell us how's it going. It's going awesome. You know, uh, you know, it's just been, you know, it's been a great start to spring ball. First three days, uh, really kind of installing the offense, getting the players caught up, uh, working with the coaching staff has been awesome. You know, we got great offensive coaches. They've done a really good job preparing the kids for all of our installs, uh, and the kids are going out and having a lot of success. So uh, we're just looking forward to kind of building on each day, just kind of adding to the installs uh, as we kind of uh, go through the offensive installs, and just looking forward to take, taking the next step. Your hashtag. What does it mean to you? Well, you know, the hashtag can, can mean a number of different things. One, obviously, the speed and space is obviously trying to put uh, the defense in conflict. And, and when we talk about speed and space, that's just not only, uh, you know, skill guys are getting our athletes out in space. That's also getting our running backs out, you know, uh, trying to create, you know, open holes and putting conflicts on defense from a run pass conflict standpoint, uh, being able to have the pin last. You know, one of the things we talk about on offense is having to dictate the aggressiveness of the defense. And so we feel like if we can stay aggressive on offense, we can limit how aggressive defense is going to be and so you know the whole speed and space deal is kind of something that you know we preach it you know with all our uh, all of our skill guys and the concepts that we that we really uh, you know emphasize um, but ultimately it can be run pass uh, oriented and, and obviously you know moving guys around getting our best skill players you know out there and uh, getting them active and part of the offense. Har Harbaugh said that uh, you've already got the players in place right now to, to run that which isn't necessarily usual when you're kind of changing kind of some schematic things when you why is that possible here with the players you already have and who kind of embodies that speed and space type idea? Yeah, you know, it, it's not necessarily a certain style of player. It's really the schematic things that we're able to do on offense, you know, being able to put the defense in conflict from a number of different ways, you know, having first level reads, second level read, third level reads, uh, you know, so being active from that standpoint, especially in the quarterback read, run game, RPO game, you know, whatever, you know, we need to do to be aggressive uh, to create numbers and angles for our offensive linemen so they're blocking clean blocks uh, and create open space and, and gets our athletes out in space but uh, we do you know we, you know when you look at uh, the number of athletes we have on offense I think we're very versatile um, you know we have you know a lot of depth at tight end we have you know we need to get a little bit more depth at receiver um, but we got to continue to to get those skill guys better you know um, you know we're not just patting ourselves on the back we're not ready yet you know we still have a long way to go um, in every you know area that we need to improve but uh, you know we've got the skill we've got the guys all around it and one of the things that we really have is an offensive line to really drive our offense you know I would say that's the strength of our offense right now and so uh, you know those guys have been practicing great over the first three days um, we also have good talented core Back. So, um, you know, overall, we feel really good about the depth we have on offense. What brought you to Michigan? Uh, just my familiarity, um, you know, in the Big Ten, you know, spending four years at Penn State uh, battling against Michigan. Unfortunately, I was on the losing end for, you know, a couple of those games. But uh, my appreciation for this university, what it stands for academically, uh, Coach Harbaugh and, you know, what he's built with this program and, uh, you know, the success that they've had. I mean, very few times are you able to go into a program and take over as an offense coordinator of a winning program. And, you know, um, you're going in not trying to figure out what's, what went wrong, but how you can make it better. So um, that was something that was very intriguing for me when this opportunity came open. Uh, and it was a no-brainer for me. And, I, and I've been really, really happy here. I've been really excited. We've got a great staff, and I couldn't be more fortunate to be here. I'm sure you've watched a lot of tape from last year. What are your takeaways from what they, what they were able to do last year? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's been one of the things for us. You know, coming in with this offense, a lot of people are asking about, you know, what about your offense? This is not my offense. This is Michigan's offense. And so there are things that, you know, we're doing a lot differently. Um, but, you know, I would be foolish to come in as the offense coordinator and not keep some of the things that we've done great, you know, over the past. And so it's really been a mix, you know, of things that I've done in my past with keeping some of the best things that we've done here in the past. And so, um, you know, it, it's, been really, uh, it's been really good for me to come in and watch a lot of the tape, see what's worked, you know, well in our run game um, because that's something that's, that's worked extremely well for us. And so being able to add other elements elements onto our base foundation has been something that's led to, you know, what we feel like creating our system, which has been really successful and being able to put our kids in best position to be successful. Playing with tempo, what's the biggest adjustment for the guys here? Uh, we're just we're a no huddle team, you know. You know when people ask who we are from an offensive standpoint, we're a pro spread, you know, and that's what I like to tell people. You know, we run from a spread mechanics. We're no huddle, um, you know. We, we we don't huddle ever, um, but we still have a big pro style emphasis. And one of the things with speed and space is, you know, we're still going to have a. Uh, 
a, a mindset that we're an attacking offense, but also we're in a physical offense. You know, we're just not going to go out there and dink and dunk the ball around, you know, throwing bubble screens and all that. We're aggressive. You know, we're going to be sound and, and fundamentally sound in our run game. We're going to be aggressive in taking our shots. We're going to be aggressive in trying to put conflict on the defense. And so, you know, for us, um, you know, that's the biggest focal point for us is, is understanding that, you know, we're still going to dictate the style of play uh, and we're going to finish with an aggressive mentality. What does your quarterback's room give you, and uh, how much does it help to have a guy like Shea kind of leading that charge? It does. You know, um, you know, Shea's been uh, Shea's been really uh, doing a really, really good job. You know, understanding the installs, and really, uh, you know, when you look at the overall quarterback room, you know, you look at the depth uh, and the talent that we've got in that quarterback room. A lot of guys have played a lot of football, um, so that's so valuable. You know, coming into a transition, um, you know, now it's just about catching those guys up within the offense, and so all the terminology is different. Those guys have had to learn it, um, and so they're learning everything and, and, and Shay's doing a really good job. Um, there's some things that are, are completely different that's been done in the past and he's done a really good job uh, learning those concepts through the first three days as well as Dylan as well as Joe. Uh, I really like him. Cade's been a, a quite pleasant surprise you know as a freshman. He's coming he's very mature um, you know and, and Coach McDaniels does a really good job coaching the quarterbacks preparing those guys for our meetings. Um, so I really feel good about you know our quarterback room and the depth that we have. Um, we have a number of guys that can make plays for us and we have a number of guys who will make plays for us. What's it been like working with Jim so far? It's been awesome. You know, he's been, uh, you know, he's been so open. Um, you know, he, he's given me the freedom uh, to, to run the offense. He's given me, you know, every input. It's been really awesome. I, I'll tell you, when I first got the job, uh, the first two weeks out on the road recruiting, they gave me the rookie treatment. They put me on the road with them. So we traveled across the country, and, and that was really valuable. You know, that really developed our relationship. I mean, we were going out to eat every night. Um, it was just, you know, two guys in a rental car had, try, flying across the country just going to see recruits. And, and so, you know, that time, you know, we were sitting back laughing in the car, joking. It really enabled us to really kind of uh, develop a friendship and really get a chance to know who we are uh, from a personality standpoint. But uh, he's been awesome as a head coach. You know, it's been uh, uh, it, it's been truly amazing to be in this opportunity and have the support that he's given me um, and, and he's given our offense. So yeah, I couldn't be more thankful for him. Who drove? I did. I did. Although he will, he will try to drive, and I tried to fight it. Actually, uh, there was one time there was a snowstorm, and he wanted to drive, and I felt awkward. Uh, but that's who Coach is. You know, he, he's very humble. He's down to earth. Um, he doesn't wear some kind of hat that says I'm the head coach. Um, you know, he, he's not in a position. He's going to do whatever he's going to ask you to do. Um, so you know, he's never too big for any small thing. And that was you know, We actually battled on the road of who would pay a lot of times for meals. And so uh, uh, you know that uh, we we got to laugh over that for a couple of days. You know, battling back and forth over Mills. Well, he did say he gave you the keys. He, he did. He, he literally he gave me the keys yeah, to the car. <laughs> but not, yeah, I'm sorry. You've not called plays, right? It, it, not, uh, not actually for a whole game. Um, obviously, in my past, I've served in a number of different roles from. Uh, you know, from passing game coordinators to co-coordinators to assistant special teams coordinators. Um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to make a lot of suggestions and calls during games uh, that have worked out and not necessarily um, a whole game. But, uh, you know, I have no concern. You know, the games are won Monday through Friday in your preparation uh, with your game plan and putting your kids in the best position to be successful. And so, you know, we feel within our system that's our strength, you know, is putting our kids in position to be successful. And that's something, you know, you look at the track record of offenses that have been around. Um, I have no concern at all. Um, like I said, I mean, it, it starts in your preparation. There's guys that have called plays for 30 years, but if you don't do what, what it takes to put your kids in possess, position to be successful Monday through Friday, they're not going to be successful on Saturdays. So um, we've got a great offensive staff, a um, number of talented coaches with a lot of great backgrounds. Um, we've been able to mesh together as an offensive staff, and I truly believe we have the best offensive staff in America. Um, you know, I, I don't say that just being the offensive coordinator here and being biased, but, you know, I've said in a lot of rooms in the detail and technique that we talk in our offensive staff and room, it's just been phenomenal. You know, we're all on the same page, and, and when we're all on the same page, that chemistry runs down to the players, putting them in the best position to be successful. When you first called you about the job, what was the discussion like, and what was the selling point to you to come here? Yeah, you know, um, uh, I, I got notified early that morning when, when we had good discussions. Um, you know, coach moved aggressively. It was kind of something that, uh, you know, that came out of left field. Uh, you know, he previously tried to hire me a few years back. We had some smaller conversations. Um, at the time, I wasn't looking to leave where I was previously at. Uh, but then he heard I was going to have possibilities and, and opportunities to leave this time. And so uh, when he called, it was just a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, I didn't really acquire too much about, you know, what the, you know, what the situation was going to be or, you know, 
or anything, you know, as far as returning players. Um, this was an opportunity I truly believed in. And like I said, it goes back, you know, to my familiarity in this conference, you know. Um, when you go against Michigan for four years, you develop an appreciation. This was always the school that, you know, presented a threat to, you know, when I was at a previous institution and one that we struggled with. And, um, you know, even at my time at Western Michigan, you know, being in the state. So uh, it was a no-brainer. Um, you know, there, there wasn't a lot of conversation that needed to be had. Um, you know, Coach, you know, he explained what he was looking for. Um, he told me that I would be in full control of the offense. And, um, you know, it was something I was truly excited about. And, you know, at the end of the conversation, I told him, you're going to get my all. And, and that's all I'm going to promise him. And, and, and that's all this offense is going to get. You know, it's my all to put these guys in the best position to be successful. You have kind of a unique perspective when it comes to Don Brown. You've, mm -hmm. you know, coached against him yeah. directly, and now you're, you know, going up against him in practice. What, what is he like for? What is that entire experience like for you? It's been awesome. You know, I look at it as a positive. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough to go against Coach Brown now for five years, um, and so, uh, you know, the amount of install that they have on defense and preparing our guys offensively to block those looks. If we can be successful in practice against our defense, we will be successful against any defense because our defense has shown um, that they produce at a very high level. And so, to me, it's always an ultimate challenge. You know, it, it's you know, uh, it's relying on our foundation of rules and the foundation of our offense, uh, preparing our kids throughout practice to put them in the best position. To be successful and so uh, you know now we're able to oppose a, a different threat on our defense from a number of different ways so it's been really good back and forth uh, you know I know Don has, has mentioned it you know the things that they're able to present to us the things we're able to present to them it really works well in, in meshing as an overall team because they're preparing differently for us and we're preparing differently for them have you been able to dictate yeah, there's some things that, that, that we're able to dictate. You know, uh, you know, it's uh, we, we haven't gone against each other much in practice right now. It's kind of split. Um, but, uh, you know, our defense presents a lot of challenges, you know, and, and um, you know, one of the things through those challenges is staying true to our rules and foundation. And so it's been really good. You know, I mean, iron sharpens iron. And so, you know, just the competition level, the returning players that they have on defense, um, the returning guys that we have on offense, obviously our guys are learning a new scheme right now, so they're focusing on the plays. Um, but as we keep increasing, and, uh, you know, the installs, the plays are going to start to come. The foundation is going to come. Uh, one thing that I'm really impressed with is how fast they've picked up the tempo of things, uh, just being from a no-huddle operation to a huddle operation. And so, um, you know, when you look at practice, our operations is, is phenomenal. It's crisp. Um, there's not a ton of mistakes, and, and that's the thing that uh, we're really excited about. So today was our first day really going at it, um, and, and we really kind of, you know, we really kind of competed with each other offensively and defensively, and it was a really good practice. Mm -hmm. Of the playbook you hope to have installed by the end of the spring. spring uh, you know we'll have uh, you know we'll have the, we'll have the majority of the playbook. We'll have the whole playbook installed, and then obviously you know once we create a big menu, uh, or once we have a big library of things, then we start focusing our menu down. And we get to the fall as far as game planning, um, you know, there's different things that we'll have in every week uh, as far as in our game plan. And that's the thing I'm just really excited about um, is just the things, the element to the game of football that we're able to bring differently now. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, a lot of things that we're going to be able to present are going to be, uh, you know, they're going to look differently as far as scheme wise. But when you get down to the roots of the foundation, you know, uh, the blocking schemes are the blocking schemes, the pass games are the pass games. So you got to keep emphasizing the fundamentals, the details, the techniques in order to be successful. You obviously coach receivers. What do you think of uh, DPJ and, and Tariq and Nico? And you mentioned depth. Are you talk, I mean, you've got numbers, right, at the position, or is that, are you um, more experience in terms of that? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, unfortunately, we've got a couple guys out, um, so we don't have quite the depth that we have right now. But, uh, you know, we, we just got to keep working. We're not where we need to be right now for our skill guys at that position at receiver. It's no negative, um, but we just got to keep progressing. We got to keep working. got to keep getting better. Um, it will help once we get our depth back. Um, but right now, we're down a few guys this spring. Um, nothing, you know, long term that are going to be, you know, issues in the fall. Um, just some preventative stuff that we're keeping a couple guys out right now. But, uh, you know, ultimately, overall, you know, the message that I've given to that group is just we just got to keep progressing. Um, you know, and if we can keep progressing, uh, you know, I truly believe in what we're teaching those guys and putting those guys in position to be successful. Um, I have no worries that we'll get where we need to get by the time fall comes and, and be the group that we need to be.
Jim mentioned, I think, Peoples Jones and Nico had some minor things. Yeah, they're they're some, they're, they're, we're holding those guys out right now, and so it's fine. You know, so it's giving some other guys uh, some opportunity to step up. You know, you know, we don't have a ton of scholarship guys right now in the spring. Um, and so, you know, we've got we've got about three or four guys that'll be here in the fall uh, from the freshman class. And so, um, right now, we're just trying to you know fill out that two deep that we've got. Uh, but we're using multiple personnel to do it, and that's the unique thing about our offense. We can be in three wide receiver sets. We can be in four wide receiver sets. We can be in you know three wide receivers with two running backs. We can be in two tight end, two wide receivers. And so, uh, you know, we're a multiple personnel. We're a multiple formation team. We're personnel driven. Um, and so we're going to find the ways to get the best players that we have on the field. And, and that's the goal and the key. Based on film, though, what do you think of people's jobs? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, based on film, you know, um, those guys, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think Nico's a guy that's very underrated as far as, you know, um, people's view of him. I think Nico had a really good year. Um, obviously, there's things those guys can get better from. Um, same with Donovan. Those guys, you know, they made a ton of plays last year. Um, you know, it's our goal moving forward to consistently keep making those plays. Um, and so there's there's areas that they've shown. Um, obviously, their experience making plays in big time games um, have led them to have some success. But we're looking to build on that. We're not looking to rest on last year. We're not looking to have the same kind of production on last year. We're always looking to increase that production. And so, um, you know, I coach those guys very hard. I'm all over those guys. But um, you know, I, not to say it from a standpoint, uh, my track record with those with that group, um, it's something that when I came here, uh, coach asked me, you know, what position group did I want to coach? And uh, most coordinators say they want to coach quarterbacks, and coach gave me that opportunity. But my background and my development with that position was something that was too important to me that I wanted to continue uh, coaching receivers and coach McDaniel's. Um, it just worked out fortunate here because Coach McDaniel's background, not only in receivers, but as quarterbacks, allowed us to be able to make that transition. So um, it's been phenomenal, you know, because he's really a quarterback's guy. He's really a really good quarterback's coach, very detailed um, and fundamentally sound. And so it allows us to all play to our strengths um, and not just be the coordinator and oversee a position because I want to, but because I feel like that's the biggest impact I'll be able to make. Got time for one or two more? Game days a long way off, but do you have a preference being up in the box or on the sideline? I'll be in the booth. You know, I'll be in the booth. Um, it, it'll be different for me. I, I've never been in the booth. Uh, I got a lot of rage on the sideline to try to control. So now you're going to put me in a, uh, in, in, a, in a clear box and try to keep that rage. But, uh, you know, we've got a ton of good coaches that are able to help from the sideline standpoint. But uh, ultimately, I feel most comfortable calling plays from the booth. And so, um, you know, that's where I'll be this year. And I'm excited. And, uh, you know, we'll have a number of coaches on the sideline being able to manage the operations from that standpoint. Your background as a player, you were a defensive back. Yes. Does that give you a different perspective when you're creating an offense because you know what yeah. you can attack? It's always led, uh, led to an advantage in my mind. Um, just understanding defenses, knowing how to attack them, um, understanding the weaknesses of defenses, obviously putting your kids in position to be successful. Um, one of the things that you know we emphasize is not just relying on our talent, but when you give talent and DNA scheme, that's able to explode. And, and, and when you look at, you know, the production of guys that we've been around, it hasn't just been great players. I mean, you know, every place that, you know, I've been to had great players, you know, before I was there or the impact. But it's about putting those kids in position to be successful. And so um, that's been the biggest impact over the years of some of the offenses that I've been around is, is putting those guys in position to be successful. So going back to my defensive background, it's helped me out at receivers, um, being able to teach those guys how to attack opposing defenses, understanding the techniques the alignments, um, how to get open to create separation, as well as offensively and schematically coming up with how to attack certain defenses, whether that's by run, by pass, whatever it means. So that's been a huge um, impact, I believe, in, in my coaching career and my philosophy is understanding defenses and, and knowing how to attack them. All right, guys, we're going to move Coach Gattis out. Thank you.